What's up y'all, it's your girl Dree and you're watching That's So Dree and today we're, I'm back with another video. And as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna show you all how to do a quick collage wall. Okay, so I've been one, leaving this wall blank since I've been in this apartment, y'all. When I tell y'all this wall has been blank, it's been over a year and I've had the hardest time trying to figure out what I want to do with the wall. But I've always thought about doing art behind the wall. So as you guys saw the other videos that I posted, I had like a wall art tour or I showed you guys some of my wall art and me hanging it. But this particular wall, <sighs> y'all, sis was just, she didn't know what she was gonna do, okay? So I finally came up with this idea to do a uh, like a collage wall. And um, so I'm gonna show y'all some of the art that I uh, ordered. So I got a, a lot of art that was framed. I'll, I'll show y'all what, I'm gonna show y'all what I get. <laughs> so as you all can see, these are some of the pieces that I was able to order. And y'all, this is already my favorite piece. I actually like these two. I ordered this little one with the um, little boy because I felt like it sh just should compliment her. So yeah. And um, here are a couple other pieces. And this is just a start for the wall, but I kind of want to get a feel for this. Now these pictures here, I've, I um, found these uh, by some artists on Society6. So, and I got them framed. Um, they came framed. So I made sure that they were framed, but these are like uh, a couple different artists that I like in their work and these are prints. And then this one here, I actually found this one at Target, but it kind of flowed with my vibe of my um, wall art. So I got it. So this is a start for right now. Okay. so. As you guys can see in the background, right, there are all these different things on here. I'm going to show you all what I use to hang these and what I want to use. So this is quick. This is my method, okay? Because I know there are a lot out here that kind of show you there's this paper you have to use. I'm going to tell y'all, I did not use it. I had two ingredients, um, two ingredients, two items that I used, two tools. I'm going to show you. So first of all, get you a little pencil, okay? Because I'm not using a marker, obviously, on the wall because pencil you can erase it so I used a pencil I use a leveler okay leveler I think it's called leveler and um, so I use this to go on top of the frame and then I order some command strips or picked up some command uh, strips here so as you can see some of these are velcro so I use I'm using those I got some brackets here just like this, that the ones that you can see hanging up for the heavier pictures. And then, um, yeah, and these are like the, the backs of these. And so this is pretty much all the things that I use. Boom, boom, and a pencil. So I use the frame, the picture, and I place it against the wall like this. And I just hit the corners, okay, with the pencil because that's gonna be covered up. That's gonna be covered up. And then I put a bracket for the bigger ones or like the heavier ones. And it takes an hour for the adhesive to stick. So that's why I already placed them on the wall. The quick way to do this is literally take the picture out from outline of the picture. This is lined up with the bracket that the um, at the back of the picture. For example, I wrote a little note for myself. This is the, there we go, so you can see it. This is a tan frame with circles. That's the frame that is going to go right there. It's been an hour, so I'm gonna go ahead and see how that, uh, how this is lined up. This is just my quick method. I've seen all kinds of other ones. All right, boom, boom. That That's right there. And then of course y'all can erase this once we have them hanging, there we go. Make sure it's level, put the leveler on there, right? Leveler, and then boom, that's level. Do y'all see how quick that was? Do y'all see how quick that was? Y'all, it does not have to take as long as I've been seeing these videos take. Um, to do this. You probably can do this in about two hours. The reason I say two hours is because you can do this 
by pretty much getting the having the adhesive on there for an hour waiting but you can outline your photos plant the adhesive you see that's that's there and it's just command strip so when you're done you just rip it up at the end when you wanted to take or change the pictures out so i will say my advice is to line up how you want the pictures to go and um use the frame get the edges you don't need paper to try to measure it all you need is a leveler quite frankly you can use a leveler to to me to see if they're on the same level at the same height you know you can use that now some of these <laughs> some of these as you can see there's a little bit higher because i did it, i put it on the frame and i'll show you all so the way that the command strips work is you pretty much just take this here right this part the black part always goes on the wall as you can see this part that says wall right and i use this bracket for that right for the heavier art this bracket is used so obviously the hook part is what the pa the painting is going to hold on so you just take the, the command strip off here place it like that take off this strip here and place it on the wall and you have to press for like 30 seconds that's it that's it use a pencil to level use your leveler to um measure the distance between the two i use two brackets for this picture right here i'm going to show you all um not um how i'm going to place everything but y'all i'm super excited about this because i was a little bit discouraged i'm like how am i going to do this like how i'm going <laughs> to get this stuff on here and i just i literally have it um written on here white black white frame black boy right this is just a black frame this is one of my heavy ones so i know that then i have here white and it has a little town and then this has tan and it has a little i did a little symbol of what the art looks like and then over here is a separate piece that i wanted to have here that was a little bit heavier that required um a bracket to hold it because it's heavy and i use the same thing i outlined it but I knew which one it was. So that's what you can do for these, the, your wall, and it's gonna be right above my couch. So let's get started. Use a bracket, bracket level. Use the bracket level. Oh my gosh. Boom. Get the leveler. And that boy is level. This is how quick this is gonna be. Okay, so right. now that I have them kind of measured out, I'm going to go ahead and erase the lines because um, I can see the brackets are there. I can see where where they hang, okay? So I'm gonna start with one picture at a time. For example, this one here. Just gonna erase the pencil. All right, see? So heat. Not too bad. It could be a little annoying, but it's better than having that paper that people get and they just put it all on the wall, cut it out, and take it down. So this one here for me, I want the exact measurement. So as y'all can tell, it really does not take that long. And this is really a start. That one looks far off because I really wanted it to be centered with my um, my little side table here. So I kind of wanted that to be there, but I have some art coming that I want that's gonna be here. And then I have some art that's gonna be above there. And like pretty much all over. Like I, I have some that's gonna go down here that um will be here soon but this is just a start i just wanted you all to see how quickly it is or how easy 
it is to do a um, collage and this is safe and they're heavy um, I mean they're for heavy um, pictures and things like that so like I got the right YouTube tools because y'all when I tell y'all I started doing this and I did not have the right um, hooks or nothing y'all I was out here like can they hang up like they will fall off the wall and everything but these are secure as you can tell by this one here the velcro that's behind there that is literally going to stick the picture on itself like it's velcro like it's not going anywhere and then that with the two old hooks that you saw ain't going nowhere this here is my favorite piece right here sis she my favorite piece and then i like how the little boy is kind of facing her and then i'm gonna get some more here like just all over it's gonna be a whole wall but i want you all to kind of see pretty much how to do it because I think there's a lot out there but it's all complicated there's the paper there's all these tools and I'm like I don't got time for all that y'all I did this in like 10 minutes I kid you not like besides the setup so setup I would say for me was it was about 20 minutes taking each frame highlight outline and whatever seeing where I want the hook and everything is level level right see this one i have to readjust but this is level level boom this here it's level right it's between the lines uh -oh. i sat it on here and now it's level level Level. I'm telling y'all, it's easier than people make it. It's easier than people make it. Uh, that's it for the video if you like the video give it a thumbs up um, subscribe to my channel for more and comment below what painting you like most all right y'all i love y'all see y'all in the next video peace